happened. I'm a failure. Ah, I feel shitty. So what do I do? Get McDonald's when I feel shitty. Somebody wants to help mommy edit videos. No, you don't eat it. No, you don't eat it. You just go like this. <laughs> Turn off the keyboard so we're all good. No more. You want to write something on the notebook? Here. Let's do. Tara tara la guitarra. Ton ton. I'm going to learn Lorenzo. Lore. Ah! You want to eat it inside? <laughs> oh, you want to grab it with this one? Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. Uh. Hey guys, fui al mandado and I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. 
um, horas miércoles, so I didn't buy too much because um, ya hice de comer ayer, comimos recalentado el lunes y este, nomás agarré para unos días más de la semana porque el fin de semana comemos um, usually afuera o si nos invita mi mamá a comer o su mamá de Juan, así, o si no comemos afuera. So I needed eggs porque voy a hacer chiles rellenos. Los chiles los compré la semana pasada, nomás que no los usé. So I'm going to make them today. Ya los estoy preparando. Disculpen la estufa mugrosa. La voy a limpiar after this. But I'm already toasting the chiles. Turtles, because it's my favorite chocolate ever. Um, crema lala para un postre que voy a hacer. So the eggs, tomato sauce. Tomato sauce la traje porque me sobró a... Uh, pollo de las flautas el otro día so voy a hacer un guisado con con esto y el pollo nopales plátanos, orange, no, no, no oh my god, this is so close no, no see you guys, no, va a para allá that's why I hate que Juan compró estas um, gates para el bebé uh, because I mean, I talk too much Spanglish I hate that he bought these gates for the baby because I have to like manually take it off and put it back on and that's why I'm always getting scared that he's gonna fall. Sit down. Siéntese. So, ahora la voy a poner. Le dije que yo quería de las blancas. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Donde you drill them onto the wall. Y luego ya nomás la abre uno cuando va a salir y la cierra. La que uh, you drill onto the wall and then you just open it when you're gonna leave and then Close it when you come back. But he was like, those were $40. So he didn't want to spend $40 on them. But now he spends an hour putting them on and taking them off every single time somebody has to go through. And now he's like, I'm sorry, Jackie. I, I We're going to change them because that's so annoying. I'm like, you see? And then at first, I didn't know how to use them. So it's kind of hard to clip it back on and clip it, clip it back off. I'll show you guys. Like, you gotta remember what hole you had to clip it on, and then this you gotta push it. The kids can't even use them. It's just really annoying when guests come over. They don't know how to do it, so you have to come all over here and do it for them, and then put it back on. It's just so annoying. And I think those are like $10, so honestly, I guess it's like you save money, but you're gonna waste all your time. Or either you spend a little more, and it's just so much easier to use day to day because come on like how many times do you go through this way and then the hallway over there so Juan yeah ya se arrepintió he's like no no vamos a, a comprar las otras mejor pero a ver cuando a ver si no cumple Lorenzo ya mejor la edad donde ya no la vamos a ocupar by the time we get them anyways back to my grocery haul <laughs> okay so jugo juice because once in a while I get juice usually we drink water or agua aguas frescas Um, a veces soda, but we've been drinking soda recently, so I'm switching it up. Queso chihuahua. Ay. Y luego sour cream, porque a Juan le gusta sour cream. A nosotros nos gusta crema mexicana, pero a él le gusta la sour cream. Y luego compré costillas de puerco para un pozole. Trocitos de puerco, porque voy a hacer um, chile rojo con nopales. Some bread, because we're running low for the kids' lunches. Compré jamón, leche, dos tomates porque todavía tengo poquitos. O sea, no compré muchos. Fresas para el postre. Una lechuga. Chile de árbol porque I ran out. And then some Cheetos because I was craving hot Cheetos. And that's it. Nothing else. Um, I did get a. Uh, What is it called? A telera bread in case I have a sandwich for lunch. It's right there by the Cheetos. I forgot to mention that. But I'm not hungry yet, so I don't know if that's what I'm gonna eat lunch or whatever. No, 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 señor. <sighs> ¿Por qué? Los bebés son tan buenos para encontrar la basurita. Lo debo de poner a limpiar, ¿verdad? Anyway, estoy dando un chile y voy a agarrar una bolsa de estas. De estas. Y voy a echar el chile aquí. I'm going to grab this chile, ya está. Y lo voy a echar aquí, voy a cerrar la bolsa. Y voy a echar ya otro chile a la lumbre. 
y no me voy a golpearlos. Alright. So, otra vez, I'm so sorry for looking a mess. Damn, Gina, I look hella crazy. Um, somebody commented that I should, and I'm sorry that I say somebody because I don't remember exactly who, what's your name? Was it Mariana or Maritza? That I should do cooking videos? Thank you, I'm flattered. <laughs> but I don't feel like, um, very confident about it. I mean, I guess if you guys are down to see just the way I cook, like, just like, I just learned from my mom, like, typical Mexican food. Any other recipes that I do that are not, like, Mexican, I get from Facebook, recipes online, things like that. But yeah, if you guys want to try something, I'm down to show you guys. Um, but like, I'm not a pro at all. I think I cook okay. Pretty decent. Ooh. There's some things that are better than que me sale, like, mi especialidad, yo pienso que son las chila, enchiladas verdes. Like, Ay, Lorenzo, las enchiladas suizas de pollo. That's probably what Juan would say is my favorite or his favorite meal for me to make. But um, chile rellenos, I'm definitely not a pro. Today I'm making chile rellenos zacatercanos because son diferentes de los de Juan. Los de Juan son de chile pasado con papa, mashed potato y queso. Pero los de Zacatecas, well, the way we do them is um, chile poblano rellenados con puro queso. And those are my favorite. Oh, sh those are my favorite. So that's what I'm making today. But yeah, if you guys are down, and you guys are in, like, um, the, that comment about the cooking videos, not the first person to tell me that, but I was just always like, oh, I don't know. But if you guys want to learn or whatever, um, yeah, I'll show you guys. Just let me know what you want to see. Also, what was I going to say? Oh, I wanted to give you guys a tip. This hair is bothering me. Hold on. Best way that I have learned... Para cocinar y eso porque, I mean, yo y Juan, we've been married desde los 18 years old. Okay, we moved in together when we were 17. And honestly, I didn't know how to cook. I knew how to make enchiladas and beans. And I don't think even rice I knew how to make. But, um, let me just flip this. Okay, so I really have learned from like scratch. My mom, she made me a recipe book when I moved out and I call her and I would call my grandma, may she rest in peace, my grandma, my abuelita Carmen. Yo le hablaba a ella porque no trabajaba y yo le hablaba y le decía, abuelita, ¿qué, ¿con qué le echo a esto? ¿Qué le falta? O, you know, ¿Cómo se hace? Y ella por teléfono me decía cómo hacer las cosas. So, me ha enseñado de, de nada, la verdad. But like I said, no soy profesional y no soy, no estoy diciendo que cocino tan rico. Pero, so, lo que estoy diciendo es que, from the beginning, me daba medio flojera hacer de comer al principio porque no sabía. Y entonces, como no sabía, decía, ay, me va a salir malo y así. Y a veces sí me, sí me salía malo, me salían saladas las cosas, no las podemos comer. Pero poquito a poquito uno va aprendiendo. And um, now I feel like finally I'm becoming a little more like organized and stuff. Like I cook more often now, mainly Monday through Friday, sometimes Monday through Thursday, or sometimes on the weekends or whatever. But what I'm trying to say is, and I'm talking my life away, is that this is how I do it and I'm going to tell you guys in case you guys are struggling and like are all over the place in the kitchen and kind of don't have it together. So what I do is I wish I had my list with me which let me check if I do. So before I leave the house I write, I have this like notepad on the fridge and I write, I go through my fridge and I write down what I need, right? Well actually before that I sit down on the same piece of paper, I write what I want to cook for Monday through Friday and so on. So like I picked today chile rellenos, um, mañana quiero hacer creo que el pollo, 
uh, sazonado o si no, nopales con carne. Well, anyways, escojo lo que voy a hacer de comer. I write Monday through Friday and then I look through the fridge and I pick out what I need for the rolls recipes and I write it down. And then you go to the store and it's so easy and so much faster to shop when you already know what you're going to cook. You don't have to think about it. So literally in and out. And then you come back and you didn't get like too much of one thing. Or like, you know how when you go to the store, you're like, oh, shoot, I bought limones and you had like 20 limones in the cajon. Yeah, no. So I feel like so much better. And I like that I know what I'm going to make for a certain days so I don't have to think about it. And before, that was my big issue that I'd be like, oh, what am I going to cook today? Uh, I'm gonna, and then I would think of something I'm like I don't even have this I'm missing this and then you gotta go to the store and then the next day again you know that was me for a while so um and then also before that I would actually try the whole because my mom ella va la, a la comida cada cada dos semanas I believe entonces I would be like okay well I'm gonna go once a week like that's what my mom does not once a week but I would go once a week because I'm like she does it weekly instead of going every day there's some people that like to go to store every day but with me it's not functional because I have the baby so I would do that but because I wasn't planning my food like meals what I would eat or what I was gonna cook and stuff and not really checking my fridge I ended up throwing up a lot of throwing away a lot of food Se me hacía malo. so then when I started um, Writing down what I was going to cook for each day, it just makes it so much easier. And I make sure that I go through my fridge and then I'm not throwing away a lot of food. You know, we're actually eating it and things like that. So that's my tip, guys. Be prepared and organized before you head to the grocery store. And because when you throw away food, it's like throwing away money, okay? So that's my <laughs> wife tip of the day, no. That's my stay-at-home mom tip of the day. Not really just for stay-at-home moms, but you know, for the mother or the cook of the family. Because I know what it's like to be a young mom and you know, as a Hispanic woman, I feel like we're always the ones that are the pressured ones to, to cook. Like we're the ones that usually have to take care of the family, your man or whatever. I'm so down if Juan was to cook, like hey, help me by all means but he really doesn't cook I wish he did but um yeah that's how we were raised but I wish he did cook anyways I'm talking too damn much so they are coming out really giant but I'm so happy that they're coming out because con chile relleno sometimes it's a risk for me at least you know because I don't make them so often so sometimes they fall apart on me but this time the chiles were nice and like just the shape of them, they weren't falling apart on me. So they're coming out nice, nice and put together. Okay, the baby is dropping toys like crazy. Do, do, do you like to say something about that? No? Juan wanted a little bit exoticness, so I put queso fresco on the chile relleno. ¿Y qué está comiendo mi gordo gordo? ¿Quiere agua? Ay, a lo mejor sí. ¿Está caliente? So this is what my plate looks like. ¿Qué dice el esposo? ¿Pasan los chiles o no? Le damos un un nueve. 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 Some water. What? Yeah. You like the chile? Good. So she's feeding chile relleno too and frijoles. 
¿Eh? Con chile jalapeño. Uh, sí, sí, no, Camila. Chiquita, no, no, no. Sí, grábame. Esto no. Ay, comprenme una buena. Una ¿Es una cosa tan spicy? Oh, she needs juice. Let me get juice. I'm only recording. Yes, finish it now. Finish it. Finish mine. Ella agarró el chile sola o tú solo dices. Come frijoles, come frijoles. Come frijoles para que se le quite lo empujosado. Venga, Camila.
We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish.